Hi guys, today I'm going to do a second video on logical functions. The first one you can see on my channel, it's the if uh, statement, the if function in Excel. Okay, so in this video I'm going to take it one level higher, not too crazy, but still something practical and useful. And that is I'm going to combine the if statement and the and statement. Okay, so over here in this column, let's say I'm interested in whether these observations taken one at a time satisfy a certain criteria. And we'll go, we'll just make it right here. Is it yellow? Is it type C? And are sales greater than 40,000 okay so we're making these this is completely arbitrary just for purposes of our example okay so the way we would actually test three things here is we'd use an if statement and inside the if statement we'd nest this is a buzzword in Excel functions we'd nest an AND function Okay, now also another thing we might want to put here is uh, clarify before we start is what do we want the function to return in these cells if all three of these criteria are satisfied? In other words, if it's yellow, if it's type C, and it's greater than 40,000, what do we want this cell to show? We can have anything show here. We can have a statement, we can have a just yes or no we can have another cell referenced we can uh, even do formatting changes okay but I'll make another video about conditional formatting here let's just say yes or no okay yes if all three of these criteria are satisfied and no if it's not okay so if you've watched my other Excel video on the if function you know that we start the if function with equals if and the first argument is the logical test now here is where the nesting comes in and here is where we take it up just a little bit. Okay, so after we zo we've opened the parentheses, we type the AND function. And in that same video I did earlier, I also introduced the AND function on its own. Now what the AND function does, just to briefly summarize, is it takes many logical tests separated by commas, as many as you want to test, and if all those logical tests are true, then it returns true. And if any of them is not true, not true, then it returns false. Okay. So, in the logical test area of the if function, we're going to use an AND function. So, after we type AND open parentheses, we're going to check if cell B3 is equal to yellow because this is what we want to test comma the second test in the AND function is if cell C3 is equal to the letter C because that's what we want to check comma if cell D3 is greater than 40,000 and then we can close the parentheses now what we've done is we've we've opened and closed the AND function now if all three of these tests separated by commas is true which in this case it is in this particular row it is then this AND function will give us true will return true and if you think about it that true will fall into the logical test argument of the IF function that first part of the IF function here right this logical test area okay and since that's true then we move on now we're back in to the if function. If the logical test, which is this complicated other function we've put in, is true, then comma, what do we want? And we said earlier, we decided that we want it to say yes. And then comma, in every if function, the last argument is if the logical test is false, if this is false, what do you want me to return? And obviously for us it would be no 
we close the parentheses and we've closed the parentheses of the original if function and the and function is opened and closed within this if function and this is what is referred to as a nested function okay let's hit enter and we should get a yes back here and why did we get a yes back because it was yellow type was C and sales were over 40,000 so all three of the criteria were satisfied okay and then just like other every other function except in Excel if it makes sense and if you've set up the function in a proper way you can simply click grab the right corner here and either double click and it'll drag it all the way down or you can just drag it down in the sit with the same bottom right hand corner all the way down now that's funny every other observation fails this test because let's see not yellow automatically that would cause the uh, function to fail not yellow fail fail yellow but not C so it fails fail based on color fail 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 yellow fails based on type type is not C yellow but fails based on type and there's no more yellows but just for uh, sake of adding one more observation at least that satisfies the criteria let's change this to C and if I hit enter this should turn to yes and it does and actually let's tinker with this sales let's make the sales just fifty dollars and we should see this turn to null because the sales will have dipped below our criteria of greater than 40,000. Okay? So, if we make it 41,000 again, boom, we're back to yes. Okay? So, that was a little introduction to nested fu logical functions. And uh, you'll see that with logical functions, it actually comes up quite a bit where you have to nest multiple uh, if functions if and and functions and there's even or functions which I'll show in further videos but for now I hope you understood the logic and if it was a little bit too advanced please go back to my channel and in the Excel's playlist find the if function uh, video and that'll be a good primer before you uh, dive into this video okay till next time hope this was helpful subscribe to my channel comment Please let me know of any other things you want me to cover in Excel and uh, practice, practice, practice and come back and check out my new videos in the future. Thanks a lot.